Hey guys, Mira here, and I know I haven't posted in a while, and it's because I've been binge watching anime and also playing a lot of games. And well, I also did a bit of my college requirements. And on the topic of college, I recently started to reminisce my high school days, and I remember this one time when I actually made my friend cry because of uh, a prank I pulled on her. It was a VB script program, and well, a bit of a background is that my dad used to teach me how to program back in my like starting from sixth grade and all throughout of high school and around eighth to tenth grade i wasn't i'm not exactly sure on which exact year it was my dad was teaching me vb script and i one night i thought hey i could make a prank or i could pull a prank on my friends with this by making a program because he just started teaching me how to make dialogue boxes and you know how spam or viruses work like they just pop up and stuff so i tried to make one of those but what the difference is that this one is harmless so what i did was i saved the file into my usb flash drive brought it to school the next day borrowed my friend's laptops i insert the flash drive into their laptop copy the file to their desktop replace the icon of the original file with their my computer icon and also rename it to my computer what will happen next is i delete their my computer shortcut and replace the file i recently i just copied to the where the position where their my computer shortcut was and i bring their laptops to them and say oh my gosh i don't know what happened but I can't open your my computer and then they you know try to open it they run their my computer and well my program will start running the they will get these dialog boxes will pop up and it will say error they try to close it it will keep on saying error 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 and then soon it will turn into your computer data is being um, your computer data is being sent to hacker 101 keep on keep on closing it and I'm not that brutal so by the time they reach uh, it reaches the middle of the program it'll turn to it's just a prank bro but they'll keep on closing it it'll still pop up it's just a prank bro and then evil grin face will keep on popping up until it reaches the end and say that I hope you I uh, thank you for letting me waste your time and stuff but anyway my friends and i would actually laugh about it they start to panic but then soon realize that it's just a prank and then would laugh about it and stuff they do get a bit annoyed i'm just that annoying friend and well what i didn't expect was when i let my uh, when i tried to pull that prank on one of my friends she she um, she opened it and then she actually started to panic and then um, a little a little uh, time passed a little bit and then she started crying I started to feel bad and just told her that just keep on closing it maybe something will change and stuff and you know tried to comfort her and stuff that yeah it's not a virus don't worry about it and stuff and then you know um, she'd reached the middle of the program and then she'll start to calm down and yeah she did cry but we still laughed about it later I did apologize to her because I did feel bad that you know I probably took it way too far so that's sorry of what happened anyway in this video I'll be demonstrating to you what the program looked like or what happened and also show you the source code of the program i made so that you could also duplicate it and make it make one for yourself as well just make sure not to take pranks way too far i know um, my prank was still a bit harmless but i'm sure i did hurt her feelings and i really did apologize to her for that so just be careful on what you do 
but yeah I'll be showing the program and let's get started so I first opened my USB and copied the VBS file to the desktop Back then, the operating systems my classmates and I used were Windows 7 to Windows 8. And since right now I'm using Windows 10, what I'll be doing is I'll be copying the file to a different folder in File Explorer and create a shortcut which I will then put on the desktop. This is done so I will be able to change the icon of the file later on. So once I copied it to the desktop, right click on the file and go to properties. There I can change some of the details, rename it and change the icon. So I just change the icon and choose the icon that there my computer used. But in my case, I'll just choose the icon for a folder. And then click apply and do whatever with it. To run it, just double click on the file and that's it. Here is the source code for this. It's actually really basic and even a kid can make it but I am just sharing my experience with it and to be honest it was a pretty successful prank and really fun if I may say so myself. You can change some of the messages here and add more commands to your liking or even shorten it. It is up to you to modify it. But do remember that once you save the file, save it as .vbs and not .txt. To do this, click on Save As and the file name format should be file name .vbs inside double quotation marks. Example is shown. So that's it for now. Make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates on my next uploads. Well, I know that it took me a while to post this video, but I'll try my best to fix my uploading schedule. So that's it for now, and see you next time!